it's hard to describe myself as an artist. I don't know, I guess quiet, um, calm, um, and trying to give people something that they can enjoy. What I've been trying to do is tell little mini stories through all my drawings. Um, they're, they're kind of open-ended. It's almost like maybe short fiction or something, like in a snapshot, you know? And, and hopefully if, if people pause, they don't just simply see a, a barn or a tree or a landscape or through the mark making and through the shadowing and through the way I'm handling the light and the composition that people don't see them as a direct drawing of nature. I'm not a plein air artist. I don't sit outside and draw from nature. I, I like to be in nature, you know, whether it's hiking or, or living around trees or whatever, um, and then I'll just go ahead and make up my own version of that. So sometimes they can look a little bit surreal or something's not quite right, or, and I feel like that all adds to some of the character in the drawings. So I use a, mostly a Micron pen, which is, a, it's an archival quality ink pen. I also use um, just jarred ink, classic ink, that um, I'll use maybe like a Sumi brush or any other type of watercolor brush, and I'll do simple washes. And then recently I started getting into some charcoal drawings, and most of the charcoal will be just rubs in the background, and then I'll draw on top of that. One of the things I really like about the the tools that I use is the physical feel of the pen to paper and how the tip hits the paper and just the relationship of that. You can feel that through your hand as you do enough of these drawings and you make enough marks, you know, literally these mark making techniques. Um, and you start to feel the differences in the paper, the differences in how new the pen is, uh, how fresh the ink is. Uh, you pick up on all these things and all of that gets carried into the drawing. But I don't, I don't see almost ever how a drawing is going to resolve when I start it. Uh, I have sort of a general rough idea that I, I think I want to do this or I think I want to do that. And then it kind of takes on its own life and then I go where it seems to want to go. For the last show at uh, the Kenny Gallery, I decided to focus on mostly small work. And part of that was to try to bring the viewer in, uh, to, to make them have to go up close to the, to the drawing and to really experience it up close. It's not about um, working small or, or large is better or whatever, but it felt like let's try this idea of all the pieces having to pull you in. Uh, love the Kennys in the sense that they know their artwork. They're, I'm blown away every time I go in there and talk to Tim or Jim. Uh, they have a depth of knowledge of the history of arts and their specialty in their area uh, that I am very inspired by. And I'm constantly you know, trying to get a little bit more time with those guys to like, learn from them and grow from, you know, from working with them. My hope is that when people see the drawings that they might um, you know, stop by the piece and just pause for a minute and even if it just gives them a moment of either reflection or calm or peace or it just makes them feel good inside, they don't even have to think anything, then I feel like I've contributed in a positive way somehow.